Hey everyone, welcome to 360 Nails TV, the official YouTube channel of 360nails.com. If you're new here, be sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell for two new videos every week. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Okay, let's get started. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a swatch and review for a couple of polishes from the Sally Hansen and Crayola collaboration. These polishes are so pretty and I really like the packaging, so they're some of my favorites by Sally Hansen. So I actually have three from the original Crayola collection and two from the new, I believe it was the Spring Pastels collection. I'm not sure what the exact name is, so I will put that in the description box. But these are such pretty polishes. I actually have a couple favorites in here, ones that I've been using a lot. And I found all of these on clearance at Target, but I'm sure you can find these in drugstores like Walgreens or CVS or something. And yeah, so let's get into the swatch and review. I've got five polishes all together, and I really hope you guys enjoy. Also, comment below what your favorite polish is from this video. So the first polish we're going to be looking at is a beautiful pastel yellow. This is called Canary, and it does have a really nice formula. I was pretty impressed by this polish. It's a little finicky because sometimes it requires two coats and sometimes it requires three coats, but I really like it. I think it's nice for spring and summer. It, were, it would be really pretty on a variety of skin tones, and overall the formula isn't bad. It's not super runny, it's not too thick, so it's pretty nice. So this is just the first coat here. I'm manipulating the polish a lot because this can be a bit streaky on the first coat, but also throughout this video you'll notice that some of the Crayola polishes have a different brush than each other because the pastel brushes are more square and the original brushes are a little smaller and more rounded but I think I do prefer the bigger brush because the smaller brush can be a little difficult to use and it can create streaks and it's a little more challenging to work with but I prefer this one and it depends on the size of your nail because these brushes can be a little difficult to work with if you have smaller nails on your pinky nails but overall I think they're okay so here's the second coat. You can see it's a little better. It does kind of seem a little streaky still and sometimes I'm good in two coats with this polish but sometimes I need three so I'm gonna do my third coat now. And regardless, this is such a bright polish. It's a really nice pastel yellow. Like I said, perfect for spring and summer. I think I'm gonna use this next Easter. I think I could get some really pretty kind of chick manicures or Easter eggs or something like that. So definitely very versatile. And you'll notice some of the application of these polishes can be a little messy but that's just because this, of the size of the brush. So if you have smaller nails you want to be careful when applying these. So that is three coats of Canary. Next up we have one from the original collection and you notice right off the bat that the brush is a little different. This is called Carnation. This is such a cute polish. I really love the color. It is not showing up super well on camera. I've filmed a swatch for this before and it does show up very neon on camera but it's a little lighter in person. It is pretty much a Carnation pink. I bought this last summer when the collection first came out and it's really nice. This one has one of the better formulas out of the collection so this one you should be good in two coats. That's what I'm doing here. And yes, this brush is, I don't know which one I prefer actually, because the square brush is easier, it's easier to cover your nail, but the smaller brush is nice to get into the corners of your cuticle to make a nice round manicure line, but other than that, I, I guess I prefer both brushes. So that is two lovely coats of Carnation, and I really like the swatch picture that I did for this because I included the crayon that it is named after. Next we have one, this is called White. <laughs> this is just a basic white polish and I had heard that this was a pretty good white so I figured I'd try it out. This has a pretty good formula. It's not super different to other whites I've tried. I still do prefer the white that I've been using, which is Snowy White by Simple Colors, but this is a pretty good white. This was good in, well, here in the live swatch, it took me two coats, but when I did my swatch picture, it took three. So it depends on your application. I'm sure this will get thicker over time, and I will definitely use this for nail art when I run out of my Simple Colors. But other than that, this is a pretty good white. I think it's nice because of the wider brush, but yeah, it applies pretty nicely, and it's nice and bright. I'm thinking of wearing white nails soon. I think it looks really pretty and bright for summer. Plus, this would be a good great base for gradients or nail art or anything like that. So, I highly recommend this one if you're looking for some kind of a good white polish. And yeah, that is two coats of white. Next we have my favorite out of all of these polishes. This is Sky Blue. This is a gorgeous kind of, I would say, a an almost pastel cobalt blue. This one applies super nicely. This one probably has one of the better formulas, maybe the best out of all of these. This is from, I think this is from the pastel collection. 
and it just is so lovely. I've been using this for a lot of nail art lately. It's just such a nice color for summer or any time of year really, but especially summer. This is so gorgeous. I would love to do some, maybe some gradient manicures or some summer ones. I think this was the base coat that I used when I did my Ocean Waves nail art, so I will link that up in the cards. It's a super easy nail art look. And this one is perfectly fine in two coats. I think if you had shorter nails, you might be able to get away with one coat, but it is a really nice formula. It's a little bit thicker, and of course this has the square brush, so you'll want to be careful about that. But I highly recommend this one out of the whole collection. If you're going to get one, definitely get this one. Even if you're not a blue polish fan, it's still really pretty. So that is sky blue, two coats. Finally, we have Razzmatazz, which is a really cute name. This one, actually this has the best formula. This was good in one coat. This is not showing up super well on camera. This is kind of a brighter raspberry cream, and it's just really pretty. This one's perfect for summer, really bright and nice. I used to have a polish like this. It's similar to Sonic Bloom, if you've seen that polish from Sally Hansen Insta Dry. But yes, this could possibly need two coats depending on your application, but mine looked okay in two. So that's it for today's swatch and review video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said in the beginning, comment below what your favorite polish from this video was. And if you've picked up any of the Crayola and Sally Hansen polishes, I really like them. So thanks for stopping by and watching this swatch and review. I hope you have a polished rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!